And what do we have here, Maestro? Okay, something a bit lighter now. We started off some quite heavy cocktails. Um, this one is, have you ever been to Wimbledon? Being an Englishman yourself. I have. Okay, this was inspired by Wimbledon. Obviously, Wimbledon's famous for strawberries and cream, mm -hmm. but also strawberries and champagne. So this is a strawberries mm -hmm. and champagne martini. Mm -hmm. So a nice, uh, healthy measure again of Belvedere vodka. Give that uh, 45 mils just in there. And is this served at Wimbledon in the bar? Not yet, but well, take uh, it there, Grant. who knows, take I was there. gonna say, back in the UK, hopefully uh, later this year. So Grant and I are both from the UK, <laughs> just in case you're wondering. Keep drop, dropping Thanks. it in there. Okay, so what we've got in there is basically a strawberry martini. But again, because we're at Zeta, we do things slightly differently. So I'm gonna mm -hmm. put a little twist on it. So give this a good shake in my Boston shaker. This is the age of deconstruction, isn't it? Yeah, this is putting layers of flavour. So again, we're using an emulsion or an air on the top, which is a champagne emulsion. So I'm going to strain this into here. That's basically our strawberry martini. Mm. Okay, and then what we're going to do is put our champagne air on the top. Uh, not only do you obviously taste it when you go to drink it, but you can smell it too. So I'm going to put a nice layer of champagne on the top. So champagne emulsion. There you go, game, set and match. <laughs> no tennis ball on the side? It's not a bad idea actually. Well, <laughs> Serve with a tennis ball. A grape, <laughs> A grape looks a bit like a, a tennis ball, I guess. So there we go. Hey, uh, strawberries and cham or champagne and strawberries martini. You drink through the champagne, that layers your palate, and then you get the nice, sweet freshness of the strawberries coming underneath. Perfect. Anyone for tennis? For Wimbledon.